My name is Liz Wally. I'm a physical therapist. I'm the owner of Physical Therapy and Lifetime Wellness. And today what we're gonna work on and what I'm gonna teach you is how to stretch your back using a foam roller. So 90% of Americans usually have back pain at some point of their life. Not everyone has it for long periods of time. Most people will have it for even a day or two here and there. So it's important to know certain stretches you can do at home to kind of alleviate some of your back pain without having to see a professional. So there's a lot of great stretching that you can do using a foam roller. Most people think about using the foam roller only to stretch out their legs, but it's a really great tool to use to stretch out your spine. The foam roller that we're going to use today is a full round foam roller and it's about three feet long. It's a little bit denser, so it's a blue or a black colored foam roller versus the white ones that are a little bit softer. So Brian is going to um, be our subject for stretching out his back on our foam roller. So Brian, what I want you to do is to go ahead and sit with your tailbone at one end, use your arms, and kind of lie all the way down to your head at the other end. Go ahead and put your feet up on the mat. There you go. So you want to use your hands to get on the foam roller. You always want to keep your knees bent and your feet about shoulder width apart so you have good balance and good stability while you're on here. So when you first lie down on the foam roller, your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, your knees are going to be bent, and this is going to help keep you stable and keep you balanced on the foam roller. You're going to feel pressure on the foam roller at your tailbone, but you want to feel a little bit of a space at your lower back. That's your natural arch. You're going to feel pressure at your middle back a little bit of a space at your neck, because again, that's your natural arch, and then pressure at your head. So the first thing you're gonna do, Brian, is to try to stretch out your neck a little bit. And so from here, what I want you to do is to barely tilt your chin down, and you're gonna feel the back of your head go a little bit farther up on the foam roller, and that stretches out the back of your neck here and strengthens a little bit of the front of your neck right through there. After you've lengthened the back of your neck is to work on your shoulders. And most of us tend to have a little rounded shoulder posture. So in order to get rid of that rounded shoulder and to help open you up from the chest, we're gonna flip your palms so that your palms are actually face up towards the ceiling. And this rotation is gonna help to lower your shoulders around the foam roller, stretching out the front of your chest and kind of decreasing some of that rounded shoulder look. So once your palms are open and your shoulders have started to relax down, the next thing we're gonna do is to continue to stretch out some of your shoulders and to work on kind of your entire back. So from here, Brian, bring your arms out to the side like a big T and then just hold it here. And again, you're gonna to start to feel more stretching all the way through your spine as well as more stretching all the way through your arms going down into your fingertips. If for some reason this causes numbness and tingling, don't go all the way out, but keep your arms a little bit lower. But if you can, bring them all the way out to the side like a big T and just rest here and kind of let things stretch out. The next step from here is Brian's gonna bend his elbows to about 90 degrees. He's gonna come into it like what we call a football position or a, a field goal position with his arms, letting his hands fall backwards as far as they can go. And again, getting a good stretch into his arms, a good stretch all the way down his spine, keeping his chin down so that his neck stays in that good neutral position. And then the last step is to bring both arms up overhead. You're gonna rotate the hands so that the hands actually touch and come all the way together and palms together. And then from here, the shoulders are gonna drop down as far as they can go. And again, this is one is gonna be a great stretch for the entire length of his spinal column. Most of the time, people feel the stretch right into the armpit area too. Good, so when you're done with your arm stretching, go ahead and bring your arms back down towards your sides, all the way down towards the mat. It's really important once you're finished stretching on the foam roller that you wanna get up gently and slowly off of it. You don't wanna do a big sit up because if you do the big sit up, you're gonna put pressure on all of those spots of your spine that we just released. And so the safest way to get up is to have you kind of roll off to one side and let the foam roller pop out the back. So Brian, if you roll towards me, you're gonna feel the foam roller kind of pop out towards the back. Good, he's gonna stay on his side and then using his arms, he's gonna go ahead and slowly sit back up all the way to a sitting position. Yeah, and then just take a minute to kind of rest for a second afterwards. Good. Now foam roller stretching for your spine is fantastic for keeping things loose at the end of the day. I usually do it at night, and especially if you feel like you work in an office and you tend to get more slouched over, it's a great way to open up your spine, open up your chest, and take pressure off of all of those areas of your back.
So thank you for watching our video on how to stretch out your back using a foam roller. If you're having any pain or injury from back pain, please give us a call at Physical Therapy and Lifetime Wellness.